your perspective as the professional, as the expert in this field, what are just some three things or four things that, you know, you could just bing, bing, bing. You could really say, Hey, if you're, if you're struggling and, and you're in zoom meetings, all these are the few things that you can do to find that balance again. So one of my main advice pieces to pretty much any coaching client or any client that I've had is to just take a moment to be where your feet are, to just be where you are instead Mm. of being in a million different places, because my goodness, there are so many places to be. And now we have even more places to be, even if we're just sitting in one chair, you know? So it's, it's, it kind of takes, it takes us away from, connecting back into our bodies, connecting back into our breath, connecting back into the fact that we are here now, not, you know, at the meeting, not um, in the future, not, not in the past, instead of being in a million different places, just taking a moment to check in with your body at least once a day. And that is the bare minimum, you know, checking in with yourself once a day to just to actually say like, I'm here this is how I'm breathing right now. How am I feeling right now? And take, kind of taking a, a mental body scan. And I'll take you through one of those in a moment here, but just kind of scanning through and seeing like, where am I feeling, you know, tension or tightness? Is my body feeling tired? Am I feeling sore? I mean, I've seen so many people come in with injury. I, I, used, to, I used to practice as an osteopath and I, I had saw so many people come in with injuries and they'd be like, I don't even know how it happened. And I'm like, well, how, how much were you, how, how were you checking in with yourself? How much time were you taking to stretch and warm up? Those practices are important because it helps you to take a mental scan of what's happening with your body, how you're feeling, what's going on. Um, so that is definitely number one. And then I would also say to further on from that, just observe your autopilot. So observe those places in your day where you do just go into automatic functioning. And I mean, like a lot of our days are spent in automatic functioning and not really thinking about what we're doing, not really thinking about the intention behind what our, what our actions are creating, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and, And so observing those moments when you are just on auto, you're not, you're not thinking, you're not connecting, try to connect in those moments, try to come back and be like, Oh wait, Hey, I am. I'm actually, I'm actually doing this mindlessly. And that feeds into my next piece of advice, which always do your days, do your, whatever you are, whatever you're trying to do, do it with intention, come back to a reason why you're doing what you're doing, because that's, what's going to help to guide you when things do get foggy, when things do get unclear or uncertain tapping into an intention of why you're here, why you're doing what you're doing helps to drive the decisions that you make around what you are doing, helps to really drive the awareness and the focus toward what is actually best for me in this moment from my intent, from my place of intention, instead of like, it just needs to be done. I just need to be busy. I just need to keep going. Mm. Like, do I really, do I really need to be doing this right now? Does that line up with why I'm doing what I'm doing today? So I, I mean, for me, I personally set an intention every day, but not some people set an intention, you know, weekly or monthly and allow that to guide them as their, you know, their North star to be able to move toward the things that they, that they actually want to create and they want to bring in. Um, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's okay. It's totally okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah we have dogs like, barking. Yeah. <laughs> well, You're stuck in South Africa. To- <laughs> exactly. Doug just wants to sing the song of its people to the, to the podcast listeners. Um, and so, yeah, it all comes back to you. It's, it's great it all advice. comes back to why. That's the one thing I always tell people is like, you have to really know your why, because if you do that, if you, you know, if you really know your, your why in life, it sets everything up. Everything becomes massively easier, whether you're starting a company and the one thing I caution people too is the, the why can't be money. It's, it needs to be you, something you're solving for, whether it's family related, whether it's to provide a better path for your kids, whether it's to help people, right? To like, like in your business, it's, I would say it's pretty easy, right? You're literally transforming lives by helping people. And um, obviously there's money in that, but it, go, it goes back to 
money is a byproduct of of your why instead of if i go chase money then i'll help people right there's a massive difference between those two things hey everyone thanks for checking out that clip if you enjoyed it be sure to hit the like button down below and if you're interested in hearing the full episode it's out right now on our youtube channel we've had a lot of great guests come on this show before and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future so hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode and one final note we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.